Okay, this is a setup for a uh, Middle Earth. Well, it's actually the Lord of the Rings strategy battle game, War of the Ring. It's an old system of, excuse the glare, old system for mass battles in Middle Earth. It's based on the original Lord of the Rings um, strategy battle game, which is a skirmish game, but they've actually uh, giving you rules so you can play large formations. Now, formations are on these little movement trays. Now, getting all the plastic movement trays now, uh, unless somebody's producing them, uh, is, is pointless. You'll have to use uh, like wooden ones, which are still available. Uh, you get them in like packs like this. These are and you just assemble them with wood glue and paint them. Um, now, this battle here is Ugluk's last stand. That's been played on an 8 by 4 board. Um, it took place um, at the start of the two towers. It's, uh, it's on the southern borders of Fangorn. You have Ugluk's units here in, and uh, Grishnar plus his troops and um, various different different types of troops there's quite a lot of bowmen up front there's uh, main phalanxes well not really yeah well phalanx is probably not the right word but main units of um, Isengard Yurikai you've got Merry and Pippin are prisoners these are actually objectives there's two little uh, Miniatures there, one showing um, Pippin and one showing Mary. Don't ask me which one's which. So they're also available as separate units. They may, if, it, if they actually get free, but we'll leave that for the moment. Um, the Orcs look pretty heavily outnumbered here. They haven't got the same amount of um, strength points as the Roarim. Um, they, they do have the advantage you've got Moorhurs that's I've probably butchered that pronunciation these three companies of um, Isengard scouts that can come on from any table edge after turn three the objective of the uh, Uglux guys is basically to get off the, uh, the western edge of the table um, I assume keeping the uh, two hobbit prisoners um, the idea of the um, Rohan winds of the Isengard army is reduced to less than a third of its starting strength um, Isengard wins of the formation carry, yeah, carrying Merry and Pippin manages to exit the board via the western board edge. Now you can move the uh, Merry and Pippin from formation to formation. So just because one unit sort of gets targeted, it doesn't mean you couldn't move into another unit. Now I haven't played this game for ages. Um, so... The initial setup here is probably not ideal. It's probably better to, I'm allowed to move the orc army to the edge of the eastern half of the board. So they want to get, if they're going to go off the western edge, they want to get and head to Isengard. They're going to have to be as advanced as they can to do that. So I'll probably move this lot up at one point. Um, we've got, Roaring, they've got a Oma there as their leader. They've got a Bannerman as well. And each one of these um, companies with the sort of half painted textured trays that contain the leaders of the Roaring. So there's actually three uh, Roaring leaders. Okay. And one's actually with a Bannerman over there. The units of Rowan. They effectively have bows, spears, um, and swords. You've got um, a couple of units 
Now leaders and you've got some uh, what are knights of Rowan, some lancers over there. Yorks have got a few banners, a banner and a leader in each um, Urukai formation. British Knights obviously got a leader there. Ugluk's got a leader on there who's, who's the commander. There's no commanders in the archery forces. We're all Urukai scouts armed with bows. Um, Moho's group are Urukai scouts armed with sword and shield. I think the next thing I'm going to have to do is sit down and read this. This is um, there's a lot of a lot of groundwork for me to do. This even getting this army set up, you know, this isn't the limit of my Rohan force. I've probably got another um, maybe another twenty Rohan cavalry units. And as for Isengard, I've got hundreds of Isengard troops, hundreds of Phalanx troops which aren't, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of Isengard troops. Um, but it's good seeing it just set up for, for, for once. I'm going to look at the battlefield. We've got the uh, rowing forces who are blocking the way to Isengard. And there we've got Oblix Force, almost like a Zulu impi formed up there so I, I hope people are interested in this I'm going to do some tutorials on the rules because I could only find one video on YouTube that even covered this and that was by Gorilla Miniatures uh, and I've always find that they they go they as, as a group uh, they're doing more battle reports than they are doing tutorials they do discuss various phases and things in the rules but they don't go into any great detail as if they were trying to teach people how to play the game.